I sunk into the YIVO. Uh, I came there um, uh, first to the uh, summer program. Uh, then I did go back to uh, Chicago. And then I was offered a, uh, they, they uh, were great talent scouts in those days. And they had fun, and the YIVO had funding from the National Endowment for the Humanities for a fellows uh, program and for, from various uh, uh, Jewish foundations, from the um, um, uh, Memorial Foundation for Jewish Culture and the National Foundation for Jewish Culture. And they were offering very generous uh, doctoral stipends. So basically, I was supported. Uh, between these NEH fellowships uh, and the National Foundation and Memorial Foundation to, you know, sit down and continue to, uh, to study. But it was quite an exciting uh, time because uh, the faculty was uh, unbelievable and uh, the uh, resources were amazing and the, um, the uh, seduction <laughs> of uh, really a generation of young scholars and then artists to a really broad uh, field of work in Yiddish. Uh, so I went from, uh, you know, looking at uh, academic papers in the uh, papers for my uh, academic work in the archive to, uh, you know, exploring the other floors in which there was the music. Uh, uh, archive, the sound collection, my colleagues working on Image Before My Eyes, uh, and, uh, and then I was offered a job. So I, uh, I began to um, do this academic work, but then I was offered a day job uh, at some point, and that uh, shifted the balance.